excited about the Filecoin network and protocol, and the ESPA was a really unique opportunity to come in and get a hands-on, upfront, um, detailed look at some of the major participants, some of the major backers, and developers in that network. Building connections and familiarizing myself with the community. Who are the other players in space, uh, potential partners, people you can work with, people you can learn from? The community is so welcoming, and it's so collaborative that um, there's no absence of information or resources or assistance for anybody who's interested in potentially becoming and onboarding um, as, a, as a storage provider. Everybody comes in with a different perspective, a different background, but you meet the other people here and you notice that uh, everybody was selected for a different reason because uh, they all bring a different, unique perspective that collectively will, will benefit the community. New friends, connections, partners, the networking events afterwards, the ability to sit down with somebody over a drink and talk a little, like, you know, have in-depth conversations about where they see things are going. Conference number one. Being here at ESPA and seeing that they're gonna have a total of 50 uh, storage providers in the first year coming internationally, um, Nigeria, Australia, Europe. We're really globalizing this thing, decentralizing it. We'll see more and more demand from hopefully not just academic institutions, but more towards like mainstream business enterprises that will uh, do both archiving and computation. Their day-to-day -day, uh, content has been really useful. Um, and then obviously getting to see uh, and hear Juan speak was kind of powerful. And then, you know, things like the tax and accounting side as well. As we understand uh, what kind of challenges the storage providers face, we're able to continuously improve our own product to make sure that, you know, we're helping them in, in the best way possible. Big shout out to Picnic. I think the, the entire team is really incredible and getting to meet them in person after we've been talking for like you know, 10 months has been uh, really, really cool. Really, really impressed by what they put together and I think it's great for the entirety of the ecosystem. We're finding that we kind of even underestimated the size of the market and, and, it, and, it, and it's one that's even bigger than we expected. And I think everybody here is here because they see the potential watching some of the uh, talks, you know, I have even better understanding of, of all the different players that are in the space. So there's some telecom, there are some startups. It's actually just the diverse population of the people here. We decided to join the SPA Accelerator Program to give us sort of a leg up and move faster through deploying the technologies than we were doing on our own. With the Filecoin network, we're going to end up migrating a lot of that longer term archive into this network to reduce some of the costs for our customers overall. Bring as many people as you can. There's so many aspects of the program. There's the sales, there's the marketing, there's the tech piece, right? You still need someone to have the vision for the organization. The right guys are here. The, the actual architects are here. Um, the actual end users are here. So there's a lot of interaction and participation within the program. If you want to understand this technology, if you want to understand how you would fit in this technology, if you want to understand the challenges of this technology, then this conference, this ESPA program is perfect. You're not able to only articulate your challenges and what you want to understand. You're listening to real end users who are on the network, who are using this equipment, and have, you know, have gone through a lot of these challenges. On the other side, you've got the actual architects of the network, of Filecoin. The session's very interactive, so if there is something missing, you know, we can go ahead and interact and, you know, ask the question, and then that'll probably help the next session. There's so much more to it, especially if you have to go into a big scale. You probably also need investors. There's a lot around, you know, what is your business model, how you're going to make money, how you, you know, uh, work around having a, a crypto a crypto native uh, company. It's cool that we're both having the, like the really technical side, but then, then also covering all the non-technical parts of being a storage provider. We, we want to make Filecoin a verb, right? We want to we Google it, I want to Filecoin it. <laughs> Maybe that is smooth.